No matter the manufacturer, there is almost always an all-wheel drive option for most platforms. Most of these systems are designed to be transparent to the driver. Many all-wheel drive systems came onto the market in the 1990s. Unlike 4x4 truck systems of the day, these systems were always engaged and could not be disengaged by the driver. Many of the early systems used mechanical methods to manage the distribution of power to the four wheels. Most of these systems used expensive viscous differentials and limited slip differentials with special fluids inside. These components were prone to failure and are expensive to manufacture. Also, the performance of these systems could be challenging to control with sensors and actuators. Moreover, these all-wheel drive systems could cripple fuel efficiency. In the early 2000s, many manufacturers of all-wheel drive systems started to abandon complex transfer case center differentials in favor of less expensive clutches. Many of these all-wheel drive systems were able to utilize the brakes and sensors in the wheel ends to better control the power of the all-wheel drive system. These changes helped reduce cost while making the system more reliable. The brakes will manage the differentials so it performs like a limited slip differential. If the vehicle is in snow or mud, it can control the traction with the brakes so the differential acts like it is a limited slip. The core controls for most all-wheel drive systems are the ABS, traction control, and stability control that uses the brake modulator to control traction. The brake hydraulic control module on these vehicles has at least 12 valves. With these control channels, an all-wheel drive with open differentials can perform like it has limited slip or locking differentials. These systems use the brake calipers to apply pressure to the spinning wheel and send power to the opposite side of the differential. This can evenly distribute the power to the rear or front axles under a variety of conditions. Modern all-wheel drive systems need the foundation brake system and wheel bearing hubs with accurate wheel speed sensors to be in proper working order to function. This means that the pads and rotors must be able to produce enough friction to carry out the corrections. Issues with wheel bearings and siege calipers can result in less than optimal corrections. Thanks for watching.